Hey guys, today I'm going to mount the new truck shock that I got. Bought, actually not got. <laughs> uh, I waited for this one. I, I have another video, I, which uh, I'm telling you the story how I got this one. So basically, I just uh, dismount, took off the explode shock, and I already um, took off the spring and I just put it again just to show you what is the procedure to take it off all you need to do is to take off two bolts up here and down low and you need to um, take off some of the weight of the rear wheel so you can take off take out the bolt two bolts uh, same thing then you need to loose this allen bolt it's um, I think it's 8 millimeter. let me check it's 4 millimeter Allen bolt so you just um, turn clockwise this red ring and then it will um, uncompress the spring then you should be able to um, move the spring up and you will have this gap you just it you just move these two rings and I think it's a stopper or something like that spacer and a stopper and then you will have the seal clip or how it's called J just pray it off it's very easy pray one side and then um, do it uh, in a circle motion so pray one side and then go along the um, the seal clip and take it off then move the circle bar out sorry for doing it one hand and sitting like that and all that because in the previous video I showed you the crash that they had so I broke the ankle bones, the two bones, the um, balls on each side of the ankle nothing moved so need to be plastered for I think three or four weeks something like that and then I should be able to ride again so all you need to do is to take these out and of course take off the spring now the reason I am using this spring is because this spring is for, is, as you can see, 59, 225, uh, 57, 60, 63. So this is for 65 to 75 kilograms rider, which fits me. The um, spring kit that you are getting with the WP trucks shock is um, 75 to 85, 85 to 95, 95 to 105. Not my my weight at all, so I need to use the um, spring that I'm currently using on the WP um, Explosion. Shop. Okay, so let's move this away. I'm a bit handicapped, so excuse me okay um now here the procedure is a bit different i guess i need to figure it out so let's see okay so let me have two hands to that and i'll show you what is the procedure be right back okay so i'm back it took me some time because i had to adjust the x-trig preload adjuster quick adjuster uh, tool this one I had to take this um, ring, the second ring, a bit down so I can get more uh, preload for my sag. I didn't set the sag yet, but I just wanted the spring to sit tightly and not wiggle around. The only problem that I have right now is this uh, part, the rubber um, piece. I don't know how it should fit here without moving. Currently, um, I don't know. I can figure it out if someone know how I should um, mount this one that it won't slip off please let me know in the comments so currently I have the spring I didn't clean it or anything else I'll do it with a wash, wash, washing machine afterwards so I need to just mount the track shock to the bike and just put uh, Loctite on the bottom and the top bolts the manual recommend for Loctite 
2701 I'm going to use Loctite 243 don't see a reason for the uh, 2701 so the torque is 80 Newton meter for both uh, bolts so again I'll put the camera away and just mount the rear shock and let you see how, how it looks on the bike with the new graphics which are already uh, a bit scratched from the crash <laughs> so here it is mounted to the bike I think it uh, looks really really good the black with black and white with white and the red strips here with the uh, red anodized on the uh, wheels, how it calls, uh, knobs, knobs, clickers, okay, and the shock body. I think it looks really, really good. Turned out really, really nice. Now, because I have this, I won't be able to ride very soon, but um, I hope to test it as soon as I can and let you know how it performs and how it feels for me. I'm not a, a pro rider, so I'm not very very fast or anything else like that. So it will be very interesting to see how um, a very high-end shock um, fits uh, an average, an average Joe. So let me know if you have any questions regarding uh, this shock. Again, if you know how to mount this um, this boot. Please let me know because I'll be happy to to know it should how it should fit, not uh, slip down. I don't know if there is any. Uh, I, I guess I think I think that I did something wrong, and it should fit beneath the uh, black ring or something like that. But I I'm not sure. So let me know if you have an answer for it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time. Until. I'll, <laughs> I'll uh, take this uh, plaster of the leg and of the ankle, of the ankle, ankle. Yeah, you, you got me. Okay, so see you on the next one. Bye, bye, guys. Till the next time. Please, please consider to subscribe. There is a tractor crossing the street. Yeah, great. So please consider to subscribe and like the video. And comment if you have any questions or anything to suggest for me for my next videos for the next month I guess I'll I won't be able to ride because of it so because the broken bones so if you have any suggestions for me for new videos maybe to review stuff and all that I'll try to do my best to uh, fulfill your requests I'm like a mystics <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching Till the next time, bye bye.